Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. Last we left off, we were frustrated. We were frustrated with the Elite Four. We had limited money to make some runs, so we changed that in between episodes here. You can see on our team we have a Persian. We actually had a Meowth in our inventory, or in our PC the whole time. And I just didn't even remember. So what we did, we leveled it up to 100 with some rare candies. And Payday has paid out big. I have spent all the money we earned, but the strategy has been as follows. We came down to Petalburg. We tried to do it with trainers to get payday onto you ready the money we'd make on trainers from trainer battles, but there's just inconsistency with what trainers have um, or whether the trainers are available to battle. So one of these early routes are super easy to get wild spawns and each payday gives us 500 bucks, which I feel like it's more than it used to be. I don't know if Payday's tied to the level of the Persian or something like that. If it is, that's great. I think that's a really cool mechanic if it is. Um, but we got a Persian all the way up. We made some money. We probably still have some, some of it on us. We have 116 bucks. Or 116 bucks. What am I saying? 6,000 bucks. And look at this inventory. <laughs> 45 revives, 45 hyper potions, super potions, normal potions, fresh waters, soda pops, lemonades, and then the two Moomoo milks we had left over. So we've bankrolled a lot of this. We didn't get any ethers, um, just because they're really kind of expensive. Um, but I might buy the two that I can now with the 6,000 we have. But let's now do some other things before we go make our our next attempt. And I, won't, I won't say our last attempt. Make our next attempt. We'll get back Metagross. We'll get back Wobbuffet onto the squad. Um, and then we're just missing Ludicolo. But... I think we need some more help. And that's going to come by way of some moves, hopefully. Metagross, in particular, um, has a move right now we never use. So that should not be a thing. So let's try and make that change right now. We have some heart scales. Let's spend them appropriately here. I think we've been su suggested between a signal beam and ice punch. I think the Ice Punch goes a little further for us, although our special attack on Metagross is slightly lower than our physical attack. It's about by, well, I say slightly lower. It's about 45 to 50 points lower. Um, but there's a little bit better coverage, I think, on the Ice Punch than the Signal Beam. I think. So I think I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. They're both the same base damage. They both potentially could inflict the status effect. Let's go for Ice Punch. We don't have much to deal with the dragons. Um, so maybe, maybe a little Ice Punch um, might be just what we need. And Double Edge is going to go. It just hasn't been doing anything for us. Actually, let's check before we do this. Um, no, there's no other... I was trying to see if there's any status inflicting moves on Metagross that we could maybe also put in. But there isn't. So Ice Punch it is. We learn Ice Punch. How many heart scales do we have left? This is probably something also important to know. Or are our heart scales? We've actually managed to pick up a good number of them. We have five left. It's a good number, but... It, okay, so there's no moves for Wobbuffet. That's fine. Blaziken, I know there's nothing we want to teach it, I think. All right, well, there is actually counter. Counter is an option. It's all um actual moves. There are no actual stat moves here, which I find interesting. Give up on teaching moves, yes. Um, let's see what our TMs look like. I know we check these like every single episode now. Safeguard is a move that we already have. Do we have light screen or um, what's the other one called? I forget what the other one's called. No, it doesn't look like we do. The skill swap. Um, there's only safeguard here. Is there anything I'd put Safeguard on? Maybe the Ludicolo? I don't know. We'll leave it, I think, here for now, in terms of moves to switch. I think we're feeling a little bit better with Ice Punch on the Metagross. We have some attempts to be made here now, also with these potions we have. And uh, I think we're going to be doing not too badly, hopefully. We'll, we're, we're in a new mindset now. I can use the excuse that I've been a bit congested over the last few days, but we're not going to let that be an excuse for us either. Um, we need to get Altari off our team. There's a bunch of items on our team too right now that just don't make any sense. 
Um, so don't mind those. It's just we have no bag space. So there's probably stuff we could be selling. Um, honestly, we could get rid of the Lucky Egg on this since it's not doing anything. And then maybe, what does this have? Full Restore, also not really doing much. Actually, take that too. Bag is full. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We don't have any full restores on us. That's okay. We have all the other things we want on our team. The berries, someone requests or mentioned that we could use some berries on our team. And particularly, I think one that um, gave PP back to a Pokemon, and particularly um, Kangaskhan. Not a bad idea. I do like it, but I'm just worried that we're going to run out of berries by the time we actually make a good run. So, let's get in here. And what are we doing? It is the uh, Sableye. And I'm realizing Signal Beam might have been good against Sableye. Interesting. Let's start with Salamence. I think Salamence can take out the Sableye. I'm realizing that Signal Beam might have been good against Sableyes. But it would also then... Leave Metagross a little vulnerable to the other Pokemon that it that we'd like to have it put up a fight against. Anyways, we're gonna go in here, beat Sydney as we normally do, and try and deal with Phoebe a little better than we have been ultimately. Attempt number 27 here at the Elite Four. Did I think it was gonna go this many already? I did not think so. <laughs> I think my estimate was probably around like more of the 20 range. Ah, uh, man, it seems like we've had great attempts, but then we've also had really bad ones. So, hoping for the um, flinch. No flinch. Damage is not too bad, so we can live with it. This one doesn't have the recovery evasion strat, so that's okay. We got a crit, and we got the flinch. Perfect. One down. Going straight to Machamp, we're fine with it. We might get knocked out here as Salamence, but again, I don't think it's too much of a worry. Uh, because we'll get it the Machamp down to a point where we can quick attack it. Rock Slide comes in. Good damage, not enough. Perfect. I'm trying to think if... But it's a Gengar, it's not a Sableye. The next team is so, so brutal. So, so brutal. Earthquakes. That's fine. Get the down on Jolteon. We did not spend the $6,000 we had also. Man, I just get carried away. I just get completely carried away. Go with the Wobbuffet. Try and get a little bit more practice in with it. Safeguard doesn't do anything for us here, so let's just go for the counter. Damage comes in. Not enough to be relevant for us, because we just get the one shot. We might be able, be able to actually take out another Pokemon. Houndoom's not going to be that Pokemon, though. Go with our strat with Blaziken. Sky Uppercuts. Again, we're left in this situation where Quick Attack is the move, but they've switched out to Alakazam now a few times. I'm going with Crush Claw again. It's like they know what move we're going to use. They pretty much, they, they have to know. And we get the crit, of course. Alakazam. We'll go Salamence. It will get knocked out. <clears throat> That's okay. Well, it might not, actually, if we get the Air Slash off. I guess Crunch is another move we could get rid of. Holy. We could get rid of Crunch. Hmm. Draco Meteor would be... Would be something. Fortunately, not an option for us. At this point. Alrighty. Sydney goes down. Now look at all these great heals. Look at it. Bask in the glory. 
Oh, well, I don't need a revive. I'm... Oh, look at this. We have super potions and everything, too. Nice little potion here for that one. Another hyper potion going here to Wobbuffet. Nice little potion to top him off. Um, I'm going to probably use a Moomoo here. Yeah, I think that's actually appropriate. I want to actually finish those off. Another little potion. Finish that one off. What do we need here? We need 66. Go for the 80. There we go. 65. I was rough by one. Okay, Gengar. Gengar to start. We've gone with the Kangaskhan. Ends up being a trade. Or worse for us. The Gengar's got speed, he can put us to sleep. There's also the safeguard idea. Safeguard against the Gengar means we have to switch. Can't just stay in there with Wobbuffet to even just continue the battle. So I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. I think it has to be Kangaskhan because it doesn't have much to do with the rest of the battle. Because everything else, Gengar's going to have a move for. We got to hope if we get put to sleep, we wake up quickly. If we don't get to put to sleep, we just take it out quickly. Kind of the only options here. Okay, Shadow Ball's out. They go for the Thunderbolt. They get a crit. I mean, it is what it is at this point. We don't have a ground type to even absorb the Thunderbolt. Kangaskhan get taken out. Salamence comes out. Should finish the job. We attack first. Gengar's down. Bring out Ludicolo, please. Thank you very much. Air slash. You know, thinking for just that one second more, just to make sure we have mental clarity, is important, okay? Ludicolo down. Crobat. So there's the idea here, I think, of safeguard. I think is what it's called, right? Safeguard. We can safeguard and then counter. Or we just go straight for the counter. Either way, I think we bring Wobbuffet out. I think we're going to go for the safeguard. That's okay. Not okay. Not okay. Our party's covered in a veil. Now, Air Slash, I have it up, is physical. We go with counter. It shouldn't finish us unless they get another crit, which I really hope they don't. They don't. Flinch. We flinched. Should I switch to Metagross? They air slash Metagross, then they hit us again with a heat wave. But they can't put us asleep. Ah, so tough. Or we Destiny Bond. Hopefully it doesn't finish. I didn't do the math. I didn't look at the numbers close enough. It's not enough. Not how I wanted that to go, but it's the way it went. Got to live with it. We got to move on from it. Give me safeguard for one more turn. I think it's five turns, and I don't think we've gotten to five turns yet. Robot's gone. No sleep there. Metagross, though, in a bit of a spot.
Gardevoir. We're running out of Pokemon is my issue right now. <laughs> We're running out of Pokemon for the Dusclops and um, Sableye. This has to be done though. Let's hope we get the flinches. Safeguard is gone. I think that's okay. One flinch. That's a juicy one. That is a juicy one right there. Dust clops to next. I think we're just gonna stay. Doing a think, doing a think. We're doing a thinking thing. We're really low on air slash already. Last burn can do good damage against the Sableye. I don't know if I want to try something new. Using it on. This Metagross might get knocked out immediately. I think that might be a thing. I think that might be a thing. With that being a thing, I think. We're going to stay with Salamence. And I, I hate to say hope for the best. I hate to say hope for the best. Or actually, Ludicolo is not bad either. Let's stay. Let's stay. I honestly don't know which one's worse to deal with. I think they're both pretty bad. Start with this, avoid maybe some damage, avoid some evasion with a flinch. No flinch. I need to spread it over with Dragon Claw too. Has to go back to an air slash. Flinch. 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 Tough. That's tough. Might have to go back to Crunch just to use some other moves, but we still have some moves here on, on the Dragon Claws. And the Air Slash, too. Crits. Beautiful crits. We got an Air Slash again now. I you beats. Dragon Claws, until we get under half. Flinches. Gosh. We can't hit to save our lives. The air slash. Headset keeps turning off still. Why? I don't know. And we can't hit it all now. Running out of moves. The double teams keep coming. I need to save some of these still. Dragon Claws are going to go all the way down to zero if we have to. Now's the time. Lynch, crit, one of the two, please. It all comes down to this. That was actually really good damage. Come on. We have a chance right here. Crunch is actually doing great damage. <laughs> Crunch is doing... <laughs> oh, I need a brain massage. My, my mental is gone. My mental is so broken. Hey. What's the situation here? Air Slash? Hoping for the flinch? Dragon Claw. If we get the flinch, Blast Burn to finish it. <laughs> or Magical Leaf if we're low enough. A Magical Leaf might be better off. I think I gotta stay though. Gotta stay. We hope for the flinch. We knew that was a chance. I didn't get it. Can he get it? 
can he get it with blast burn? Come on. Come on, Blaziken. Pull it out for us. No! Okay. No! <laughs> You had to use it twice, don't you? Just had to. N no, no recover, no recover. <sighs> um, I think I need to keep Blaziken. I know how crazy that might sound, but I think I need to keep Blaziken. We're gonna toss out Met Metagross out here. Wow, actually, I was hoping for the evasion up, but probably a good thing it didn't use it. Come on, you can't be missing though. You can that's so much damage. Put him in range for the oh, it's not it's not enough. I wanna put him a little lower so that he doesn't recover because he's not too low on HP. So that oh, So that Blaziken can come and do a one hit wonder. I got it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't ice punch. Well, oh, we're alive. I wish we got knocked out. <laughs> if we got knocked out, Blaziken had a chance. I have to. Is Blizzard even good? I gotta hope for the crit. Let's guarantee damage. Okay, we're gonna guarantee the damage. Hopefully it goes low enough that if it does recover, Blaziken still has that chance. I don't know if it does. Oh, we still do though. It went for the knockout. Blaziken, please. If there's any time, you you better have a move too. You better you have two left. Okay, come on. Well, one left. It, this is this is the time. You menace. You menace. It's over. We need to land this and get a crit, or else it's done. What if we had Blaze Kick here? No PPs. We're going for another attempt here. We're going for another attempt. Man, so close. So close. We'll buy these two, as we, we meant to. We'll buy whatever we can here. Oh, 100 bucks off of my another one. Okay. How do I always forget what we start off with this battle with? How? It has to be the Kangaskhan. I don't know. I confuse myself. Let's go, Sydney. Get it done here. What? How do I forget this? It's Salamance. That's fine. They use the brick break, so hey. I don't think it's gonna end up mattering, but it baffles me how I can't remember this, and I'm sure it baffles you too. It's it's impressive how bad. Oh, that's great though. It's impressive how bad uh, my memory is. Okay, we're saving that air slash for the next battle apparently because we need them. Sydney here is no match for us. Even though if we even if we mess up, go for the Wobbuffet. It's been nice for us. Counters. They go for the Houndoom. Blaziken. I swear, if they switch to Alakazam, be good. They didn't this time. Uh. Oh, man, gets knocked out, whatever. 
These what it is. I want to save the air slashes, so I'm going to use the crunch. I think that was a good move. Might have not been a good move, because now I don't know if we finish with fake out. We do. Okay. We haven't actually been using many fake outs, too. Need to now heal up. Revive here. Hyper potion here. Hyper potion here. 130. I could have probably done something else there, but. 150. Use the last moon milk here on Blaziken and top off. Top off four. What do we need here? We need a lot. Perfect. Okay. Here it's been Kangaskhan. This is where Kangaskhan is. First. We don't have two Blazikins. Ignore it. Angus kind of goes in first here with the Shadow Ball. I use Shadow Ball on a Dark type. That's where that's where we are right now. That is where we are right now. Hey Phoebe. Come on. Don't do me dirty like you have been. Don't do it. I wish a fake out worked here. Fake out, Shadow Ball, it's over. Like a Shadow Sneak would be great. Get a Destiny Bond. Get a Destiny Bond. We could switch out and kind of like hope for the best. Oh no. I've thought of something. It Destiny Bonds. We switch Kangaskhan, knowing a Destiny Bond's coming in. Switch to Salamance. Oh my gosh, the strategy! We switched this. Sa oh no, but it's gonna Destiny Bond against Salamath and. It oh no, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. <laughs> Gotta get it through this head. That doesn't work. Because then Salamath gets one shot. Oh. I thought I was gonna Destiny Bond onto Kangaskhan. We switch out Kangaskhan, bring out Salamath. Salamath attacks first, and then Salamath is fine. Not how that works. Never mind. Probat? I think this has been a good strategy. We haven't get put. We don't get put to sleep. So long as they miss or they don't use the move. Now we're good. We go for the counter. We know it's going for air slash. It's his best move against Wobbuffet. They don't. They don't get a crit, but they get the flinch. It's okay. Where are my flinches? When I need them, where are my flinches, sir? Why? Game, why? Why? What are you supposed to do against it? Like, what are you supposed to do? Like... Three flinches in a row along with a crit. Man, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. You literally cannot make it up. It is lunacy. Absolute lunacy. That's going to put us to sleep. Because why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be able to do that? Now that the safeguard's finally gone. Wake up. Of course not. Of course not. Why would you wake up? We have to go for this. I, I don't know if this finishes. Gotta hope that it does. It does. Wow. That's a miracle. We got lucky. We literally get lucky that they don't go for the hypnosis again. We gotta go for one of these at least. Of course, we get paralyzed. I'm gonna go for the crunch. Hope. Oh my gosh. We can't do <laughs> Oh my goodness. My goodness. This is not very effective. What am I doing? Got a crit. We're not attacking first, though. And that's bad for us. Okay. This attempt was going to be a good one. It was. The Crobat. 
That's not cool, bro. That's not cool. I was about to say, we should find out what Blizzard would do damage-wise, but... I guess we're never gonna find out. If we don't get it, they go to rest, of course. Just give me a crit, please. Crit this one and crit the other one. That's all I asked for. Not gonna happen. Yep. Yep. And yep. We got no moves left. Now... There's the berry idea that was brought up in the comments to use it on Blaziken. There's something to be said about it, but this is definitely not the time that it would have helped us. Um, just, just hit me. Can it not hit me? It can't hit me. Oh, it can. Then what are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we were robbed of that attempt. Full full stop. Let me actually update the counter too. Uh, we're on 29 now. Uh, we were robbed of that attempt. That crowbat was just ridiculous. Like that is just unrealistic. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I know we're expecting to get a little lucky, but they got really lucky. Let's just say that. Uh, I think that was shaping up to be a good attempt, but uh, we'll have to wait until the next episode to find out. Stick with us here. We're gonna make it. We're gonna do it. Our team slowly improves. Just like, you know, everything else, we're slowly improving as we go along here, and we're going to get it one day. But for now, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. It means a lot to me. It lets me know people are enjoying the content, enjoying the series. If you haven't already, think about hitting that subscribe button, joining our communities. We continue to grow, not only as a Pokemon trainer, because we need a lot of growth there, but also as a content creator here on YouTube. So if you enjoy, think about hitting that subscribe button to follow up and stay up to date with all the content coming up. Till then, see you guys on the next episode.